Hello everyone. Welcome back to Research Solution, your go-to channel for simplifying medical research. I'm Dr. Debashi Jana, your guide in biostatistics. Today, we'll break down skewness in statistics. So, what is skewness? Skewness measures the asymmetry of a data distribution. Ideally, data follows a symmetrical bell-shaped curve. But in real-life medical data, this isn't always the case. When data is skewed, the distribution stretches more to one side, leading to two types of skewness. Positive skewness or right skewed and negative skewness or left skewed. In positively skewed distributions, the tail on the right side is longer. This occurs when most values are clustered at the lower end, but a few higher values pull the mean upwards. A classic example in medical research is hospital stays. While most patients stay 3 to 5 days, a few critical cases may stay 30 days or more. These outliers skew the distribution to the right. In negatively skewed distributions, the tail on the left side is longer. This occurs when most data points are higher, with a few lower outliers pulling the distribution left. An example is age at death in hospice care. Here, the mean is less than the median. Why is understanding skewness important in medical research? Skewness helps us understand our data's behavior and whether we can apply statistical tests assuming normality. Many methods assume normal distribution, but skewed data can lead to misleading results. We may need non-parametric tests or data transformation to correct skewness. For example, positively skewed recovery times might need log transformation or non-parametric tests. Understanding the direction and degree of skewness helps us choose the correct statistical approach in medical research. Skewness provides essential insight into the data. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Research Solution.